Hey Valley Middle, welcome back to another math video. Tonight we'll be learning how to divide decimals, but first, just for fun, name this TV show. We'll be back with the answer to that in about six minutes. All right, tonight, officially our target is 2.4b. I can divide decimals, but before we do that, we've got to know some stuff. All right, first of all, if the decimal is going to be in the divisor position, which is in this number here, then you need to move it to the right to make that divisor a whole number. So in this case, 0.12, I moved the decimal two places to the right, and now I have 12. I've made it a whole number. But of course, I have to do the same thing to the dividend. I move that two spots to the right as well. Next, we're just going to go ahead and divide normally, and we'll be done. So Moving the decimal two places, I've created a new problem. Instead of 0.12 divided by 1.44, I am now dividing 12 by 144, which of course you know is 12, but I've showed my work here. And just as a review, does 12 go into 1? No. Does 12 go into 14? Yes, it goes in there one time. So I put my 12 down. I subtract away and I have 14 minus 12, I have 2 left. Does 12 go into 2? No, it doesn't. So then I can bring my 4 down. Does 12 go into 24? Yes, it goes in there 2 times. 2 times 12 is 24. It leaves me with a remainder of 0. So my quotient is 12. Don't forget, this one was your dividend and your divisor. So we're looking for did, uh, decimals in the divisor. We need to move those. All right, we'll work through a number of problems tonight, but I'm going to be using these words divisor quotient, and dividend a lot tonight, so stick with me. All right, our word problem tonight. My son Casey spent $7.08 on nut goodies and salted nut rolls that were on sale for $0.59 cents at Fleet Farm. That's where America buys nuts. How many candy bars did he buy? Well, you can set that problem up. Here's the $7.08, his dividend, divided by 0.59, or $0.59. Cents. So, once again, I moved the decimal two spots to the right here to give myself a divisor of 59. And, of course, I have to move it two spots in the dividend as well. So my new problem looks like this. 59 divided by 708. Well, I can take you through those steps too. 59 times 1 is 59. So when I subtract 70 minus 59, I have 11 left over. Does 59 go into 11? No, it doesn't. So I bring down that 8. That gives me 118. And 59 goes into 118 two times. I have 0 left over. My quotient is 12. The answer to the word problem is how many candy bars did he buy? He bought 12 candy bars at 59 cents apiece. Okay? Same steps. Look for decimals in the divisor. Move them to, to the right to create a whole number, and then move the decimal in your dividend the exact number of places. All right, time to, two more, then I'm going to cut you loose. Uh, we have 3.2 divided by 67.2. Well, I've, I've just got one decimal here, so I move it one spot to give me 32 instead of 3.2. Of course, I have to move it in the dividend one spot as well. Here's my new problem, 32 divided by... 672. Well, I'll take you through it. 2 times 32 is 64, so when I subtract 64, I have just 3 left. Does 32 go into 3? No. Bring down that other 2. Does 32 go into 2? I'm sorry, does 32 go into 32? Yes, it goes in there. One time, I put my 1 up, I subtract away, I have a remainder of 0. So, I have 21 as my quotient. But is it right? Well, let's take a quick peek here. Just some quick logic. Well, 32 times 10 would be 320. So 32 times 10 again is 320. So I'm up to 640 over here, and I've got 20 32s. If I take one more 32, 32 times 1 would be 32. Now I've got my 21 32s. There's 21 of them, 10, 21. Add that all up, I have 672. Uh, that mental gymnastics I'd like you to get used to doing just so that you have a quick check to make sure your answer makes sense and is right. So the answer to 3.2, sorry, 67.2 divided by 3.2 is 21. That is your quotient. Your quotient, once you get it, will be correct. You don't need to do anything. I can see that a couple of you are already doubting me, so let's just pull out the calculator and see. Where's my calculator? You guys probably see it. I don't. There it is. 
All right, where's it floating around? I lost it. Let's get it again. Here it is. All right, let's take 67.2 and let's divide it by 3.2. Now that was our original problem, correct? And we came up with 21 once we moved the decimals. There it is. Now do you believe me? Good. Hey, what are you guys cooking in the background there? <laughs> smells pretty good. All right. Anyway, let's move on to the next problem. One more and then you're on your own. Oh, you are on your own. You try this one. 5.1 divided by 0.34. Go ahead and give it a shot. Did you move the decimals? If not, try again. All right, let's see. When you reset the problem then and move the decimals, you have 510 divided by 34. It goes into 51, 34 goes into 51 one time. If I subtract away, I have 17. Does 34 go into 17? No, it does not. Bring that zero down. Does 34 go into 170? Yes, it does. It goes in there five times. So five times 34 is 170. My remainder is zero. So my quotient is 15. Let's just double check, see if that makes sense. Well, I know that 34 times 10 is 340, and half of 340, or 5 times 17, is 170. Adding those two together, yes, that's 510. My answer is correct. All right, let's keep moving. Try another problem, your last one before your ticket to the show. 3.02 divided by 0 0.05. Give it a shot. Let's just see. If not, try it again. Okay, let's see. We reset the problem then. Our new problem will be 5 divided by 302 because when we move this two spots, we're just going to have 0, 05 point. Well, we just get rid of that 0. So 5 goes into 30. It goes in there 6 times. So 6 times 5 is 30. If I subtract away, I've got 0. I bring my 2 down. Can 5 go into 2? No, it cannot. So I'm going to bring another 0 down. Now, don't forget, you have to put the decimal up. Because you brought this number down, now you're bringing down another 0. And there isn't a 0 there, so you've got to put that decimal in. Uh, I bring the 0 down. Does 5 go into 20? Yes, it does. It goes in there 4 times. So 4 times 5 is 20. And 20 minus 20 is 0 for remainder. So you have 60.4 as your quotient. Like I said, once you get that decimal moved in the uh, dividend and move it in divide, sorry, in the divisor and then move it in the dividend, the same number of places, you're really just dividing like normal. Let's just check to see if your answer makes sense. Well, we know that 300 divided by 5, of course, is 60, and 2 divided by 5, that's, that's a known fraction of 0.4, so there's my 60.4 right there. All right, you are ready for the ticket to the show. 16.8 divided by 4, I'm sorry, divided by 0.4, 16.8 divided by 0.4, and 12.6 divided by 0.6. Answer those two questions. And thanks for listening. Nah, I'm just kidding. I know you want the answer to the trivia question. You already know it. Of course, that show is Full House with Danny Tanner and Joey and Jesse and the girls. Pretty fun show. All right. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching. We'll be doing a lot of practice on this in school.